What's up, boys and girls? Mr. Feely here with another edition of At Home PE. Today, we have a little bit of a sock ball bowling activity or a game for you. Um, the way it's going to work is you will need two either balls that you got lying around the house. I got a little basketball here. What I'm going to be using are these two sock balls that I rolled up. What I'm going to be doing is standing behind my little shooting line or the throwing rolling line, I should say. And what we're going to be trying to do if you follow me, please, is knock down these plastic water bottles. So I have 10 of them set up on this SpongeBob blanket. Um, you can use plastic cups, water bottles, really anything you can find to use as a pin. Like I said, the object is to roll these sock balls to try to eventually knock these bottles down. So when you are doing this little sock ball bowling activity, you want to give yourself a nice little lane to roll. It doesn't need to necessarily be this long, but it's the distance I'm going with. As long as you have some sort of hallway, area it doesn't need to be too big whatever use whatever you got now when you are bowling the main skill that you're actually working on is rolling which is a lot like the underhand throw that we talked about in one of our previous videos with rolling all right it's exactly like underhand throwing except the main key is that you want to try to keep whatever you're rolling close to the ground so when I release I want to release close to the ground so that my sock ball rolls smooth because if I release higher up in the air my ball is going to bounce, which for this is fine, but it may take a weird shot because these are soft balls and they're not perfectly round. So when I am rolling or bowling, what I really want to think about doing, right, is finding my favorite hand, whichever arm I like to roll or throw with. First things first. Now, when I go to roll or bowl, I'm going to step with my opposite leg, which for Mr. Felius is left since he's rolling with his right. His arm's going to go back like a swing, like we talked about during class. And then when we follow through, like I said, releasing nice and low to the ground. All right, so now we're getting ready to get started. A game of bowling, or if you're ever at a bowling alley, usually each round is called a frame. So in a bowling match or a game, you would have 10 frames. So what that means is when it's your turn to go during that frame, you're gonna take both your balls, which in this case are our sock balls, and you're gonna roll one at a time, all right? If I roll this first sock ball and I knock down all 10 pins or water bottles, I get what's called the strike. Now, the, bowl, the scoring for bowling is usually computerized and it gets a little weird. Mr. Feely's not 100% sure how it all works. So for the purposes of this activity, if you get a strike, you're gonna give yourself 10 points because of each pin you knock down and then an additional five points for getting it all on the first try. If I don't knock all the pins down on my first roll, I'm gonna roll a second ball to try to knock down the remaining ones. So for example, say I knock down seven pins on my first roll. If I knock down the remaining three with this other sock ball, I get what's called a spare. For the spare, you're gonna still give yourself 10 points and then you're gonna give yourself an additional two for knocking them all down during that round. Also, so if you are unable to knock down all 10 pins during both rolls, that is completely fine. The way you figure out your score is you just count the number of bottles or pins that you have knocked down and that's your score. So if I knock down eight with first throw and the second throw, I get eight points for that frame, move on to the next frame. So if you're competing against somebody, it might be eight to 10, eight to six. Uh, just keep track as you are going. You can also do it individually if that works. Now we're about to get set. Mr. Feely is gonna play three different frames. Usually, like I said, it's 10. Um, don't want you sitting here watching Mr. Feely ball all day. So we're gonna do three frames, add up his total score. He's going, he's gonna try to go for at least um, 25 points. Let's see how it goes. All right, so it's about to roll the first sock ball of our first frame. Let's see how it goes. Arm back like a swing, step, roll. All right, looks like we got two there on the first roll. So score right now is two. Let's see if we can add to it. Uh-oh, whiff. All right, so Mr. Feely scored for the first frame. Two, got a lot of work to do to get to 25. Not a great start. All right, first frame didn't go so hot. Mr. Feely got two total pins on two throws. So his total score right now is two. Uh, I said at the beginning our goal is 25, so he's got to put in some serious work on these next four rolls to get to his goal. So the beginning of frame two starts now. Let's see how he does. I notice too, these balls are bouncing, so I'm gonna move a little to the side. I just love getting two. All right, pressure's really on now. All right, 
right, so second frame went just as bad as the first. Uh, got another two points on my two rolls. So right now, uh, Mr. Feely has a whopping total score of four points after two frames. Um, this is going to be the last frame that we're going to film. Like I said, you can do as many as you want. A real bowling match has 10. Um, I'm actually going to keep going. I'll let you know what my score is at the end. I just hope this one goes better. All right, got to get more than two. Damn, son. Let's go. At a boy, Mr. Feely. Strike. All right, so that's 10 plus an additional five. So that's 15. Salvaged this score right there. Ended up with 19 total points after three frames, all right? 15 from the strike right here, the 10 plus five plus the additional four from the two. A little short of my goal, but still had a good time doing it. Like I said, you can do 10 frames, go outside if you got some room in your backyard to do this. Show me what you got. Let me know if you can beat my score. Have a great time. Miss you guys.